and JFAM. Today we are trying every single Chili's appetizer on the menu. Wow. They have over like 14 appetizers. The only one we didn't get was the onion. It's like the blooming onion type of thing that they have. Uh, well, they didn't have it, obviously, yeah. but they have it uh, at different locations, but not here. Oh, okay. We're gonna, of course, rate them on a one to 10, mm -hmm. and at the end, we're gonna tell you which ones are a favorite, and uh, tell you which ones that we suggest that you try yourselves. Are you ready to get into this? Let's start it. We got a long ways to go, guys, so we're <laughs> gonna get right into it. Okay, so the first thing that we're doing is we're gonna start off with a triple dipper. So yes. you get to pick three appetizers you want in one, which was awesome, because it saved us money, so we didn't have to buy them all three individual. Yep. It's gonna be the Big Mouth Bite Burgers is the first one. That's it right there. And then we have the Southwestern Egg Rolls. You guys, this is a classic. And then something we haven't had is the fried pickles. All right, what do you want to try first? Uh, whichever one you do, you pick. Let's try the pickles. Okay, let's try the pickles. We've never tried them before, so let's try them out. Okay. All right. Cool. So, yeah, it comes with this nice ranch right there. It smells good. Mm -hmm. I like, like the ranch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you like fried pickles? I don't know. Me neither. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to find out, right? We'll find out. Okay. It's actually pretty good. They're a good time. Wow. I want this on the burger. I know. These are a good time. Why have we never gotten these? These are a party in your mouth. The flavor is on point with this, right? What are you giving them? We Want to rate it out of one to ten at the same time? Yes. One, one two, three, nine. nine. Oh, no I question. said this, but I meant that. I did. <laughs> Get the fried pickles. Yeah. Delish. Yeah. You won't go wrong. What are we trying next? Uh, egg rolls. Okay. Yeah. Let's try that. Okay, I touched that one, so. Okay. I Thank guess you. I touched that one too. So <laughs> we've talked about these before, guys. If you've never had these Southwestern egg rolls, Look. if you've never had these before, stop watching this right now. Yeah. Drive to Chili's yes. and try these out. Facts. That's how good these things are. Fact toy. They're so good. They're stuffed with spinach, carrots, pickles, no. onions, tomatoes. I'm just joking. I don't know. Oh, I was like, started. okay. <laughs> I was like, there's no carrots. Spinach, corn, bell peppers, chicken, black beans. That and sounds cheese. more right. Let's try these egg rolls. Here we go. They're, they're just so good. Mm. You know, sometimes too, like, you go to certain restaurants and the quality of food gets worse over the years. These never get worse. They these don't. have been good since the beginning, they since have. day one. These are packed with flavor. Ooh. Very delicious. Mm -hmm. I don't know where to start. We started off strong. All right, let's go ahead and rate it. Okay. What are we giving it one out of 10? Okay. One, one two, two, three, three ten. Nine and a half. I'm giving it a 10. Okay, I almost really did want to give it a 10. Yeah, that's cool. I have a nine and a half though. That's nine and a half is, is reasonable. It's delicious. Listen, we have 50 billion more to go. <laughs> On to the big mouth bites. So you get two, you get two sliders. Mm -hmm. See, this is already like this, uh, this triple dipper, triple dipper, triple dipper, triple dipper appetizer um, is a great deal. It is. So go, this has guys. bacon bits, cheese, and a burger. Nice. Right. And it's a really and nice ranch. soft bun too. Yes, it's oh, a brioche bun. There's ranch on here? Yeah. Wow. Here One, we go. two, three. When you think of a burger, this is what you kind of expected to taste. Oh, like. it's a, it's a, it's a burger. I do have to say, it's putting this fried pickle on here. It's though. on point. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm letting you guys know if we're taking this to the next level right now. Oh. This burger is juicy, packed mm. with flavor, delicious. You got a hack going on right here, guys. Mm. <laughs> You've never done the Kristen eyes with the with the blocking hand at the same time. Wow. I know. No, that is good. All right, what are we giving a one out of 10? One, one two, two, three, three ten. nine. You guys, yeah. we started off maybe a little too strong with those. These were some of the best things here. Uh, I think it might go downhill from here. I hope not. Next up, we have the nachos right here. We got two different types. Uh, we got the chicken nachos right here and we have the beef nachos. Now, I know you're probably looking at this like, these are not appetizing. <laughs> like, they don't look even, <laughs> they don't look appetizing at all. When I saw it on the website, they looked really nice and fresh. They did you did. see the website? Yes, I did. Everything was, the jalapenos were placed perfectly on there. Everything was good. There's no jalapenos. There aren't, are there? Mm -hmm. 
We'll see how these are, but they look a little sad. Which one should we try first? Let's do the beef. Let's do beef. What's nice too is they make sure that every nacho has an equal amount of cheese and beef on it. That's, so that's true. Good. Oh, and you the know? beef actually looks like steak. It does. It's not like ground beef. There's no point. It's actually really good. You know what? Don't worry about the looks, guys. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the looks, because these are good. That's what I said when I met Jamil. <laughs> I said, looks don't matter. It's all about the personality. It's all about the personality. Mm -hmm. So these are on point. Really good. They, they're seasoned well. They're the cheese. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of cheese on there. They they're don't good. look good, but they taste delicious. Obviously, they're not fresh. We took them home, but if you ordered these at the place, it probably looks a little better. They're quality. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. We're trying the chicken one. We'll let you know how it is. Should have tried with sour cream first. I know. Huh? <laughs> it's right, okay. I'll, I'll bite. I'll bite this in. <laughs> one, two, two, three. Okay. I like the beef, but the chicken's okay. It definitely has a Mexican chicken flavor to it. Whatever the spices are that they put on there. Good call. Definitely like a Mexican chicken flavor. Good call. It's good though. I do agree. I think I like the beef a little bit better than these. Uh, Man, this thing is like falling all apart. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> are we rating it all together as a whole or are we rating one at a time? Separate. Beef one first then. Okay. One, one two, two, three, seven. eight. Seven. I kind of wanted to do an eight also. That's, <laughs> you always want to change it. Okay, that. yes. It's a seven. I'll keep it at seven then. You sure? It's seven to eight. Let's do the chicken now. One, one, two, two three, three six. six and a half. Nachos are good. They're, they're solid. Yeah, they're solid. I'd get the beef ones first. Next up, guys, we have the skillet queso, the white spinach queso, and guac. These chips are like, I mean, look how crystal clear those things are. I can see through these. They're very thin. They're transparent. Yeah. <laughs> Let's I try was it. just reading that the skillet queso mm -hmm. has been around for 25, over 25 years. This first one? Wow. Original with beef. Here we go. That recipe. It tastes like chili. But not. But not. Let me just try one more bite. I don't even know. It tastes like it's kind of been sitting out for a little while. It's very salty. Maybe a little overly salty. Okay. Wanna rate that? Let's do it. One, one two, two, three, three. Four. All right, we're gonna move on to the white queso. Spinach white queso. Sounds good. It looks like it's got spinach in there. Some I knew that was gonna happen. Quack. Um, it's over now. It's definitely like, it has a lot of stuff in here. Mm -hmm. So white spinach queso with pico, guac, cilantro, and a serve of chips. Okay, let's try it out. Like this is, this hits. Oh, it hits. This definitely hits. Oh. That cheese, oh, these chips though. Mm. They gotta get, they gotta, they gotta do something about these chips. The chips are too thin for this thing, mm -hmm. but man, it's good. <laughs> All yeah. right, what are we rating it? You ready? Yep. One, One, two, three, eight. six. I'm a little low there. I know, I want a six and a half. Okay, just six and a half. I would almost want to bring this to a party and say I made it myself. All right, let's move on to the guacamole. Okay. It's always nice to try out different guacamoles from different places because, you know, they all taste different, really. Here we go. One, One two, three. three. For a chain restaurant guac, it's really not bad. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes prepackaged. The, yeah, does it? You can definitely taste the garlic powder in here. Mm -hmm. There is a little bit of that citrus lime, which I like though. Mm -hmm. You know, you can taste a little onion. That's right. I like it. All right, let's okay. review this. Guacamole. One, One two, two, three, three six. Seven. <laughs> yeah. Next up, you guys, we have Texas cheese fries with chili on top, which it doesn't come like that. We actually added that. I think they charged maybe a little extra for Yeah, that, an right? extra $1.50 to add some chili. Yep. It has shredded cheese, bacon, jalapenos, green onions, and it's served with a house-made ranch. Okay. The tough thing about bringing these fries home anytime you have cheese fries and things like that, it does get a little, you know, stiff. <laughs> essentially. But we're still gonna try it out. We should, we'll still let you know if it's good or not. You want some? Yes, please. Okay. Let's try it out. Ooh. <laughs> you guys, this is good. This is really, really good. To be honest, when you said to get chili, mm -hmm. I was kind of like, well, I don't know if it's gonna taste good. This chili on top of that, on the fries, oh, it's perfect. It hits. It's perfect, it hits. Mm -hmm. This is some of the best chili I've had at a restaurant. It's Would really, you agree? 
Yeah, I like the chili. It's really good. It's really hot with those jalapenos. Mm hmm. I would say if you don't want spice, um, don't do the jalapenos don't with it. it. Mm -hmm. But everything else is very tasty. Get the chili on top. Very good. Let's go and rate it. What are we giving? One out of ten. One, two, three. Eight, eight and a half. I would definitely say you gotta try these for sure. Next, you guys, we have the loaded boneless wings. Ooh. They're smothered in white queso, shredded cheese, bacon, served with house-made ranch dressing. Okay. It looks good. I mean, you know, once again, taking them home, you know, they get a little colder or whatever like that, but still looks good. We're gonna go ahead and try it out. Mm -hmm. Let's try these boneless wings. So that's what they look like. You know, they're definitely fried in there with the queso. Okay, fam, here we go. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I don't like it. Me neither. Very salty. I don't like the bacon on here, to be honest. Mm -hmm. The queso's fine. Like, maybe if it just had the queso without the bacon, it'd yeah. be okay. The bacon bits aren't doing it all for me on this. Yeah, I agree. They're okay. Some people might like it, mm -hmm. um, but it's definitely, yeah, not for us. Are you ready? Yep. One, One two, two, three, three five. five. Cool. You give it a four, huh? Uh -huh. Okay. We're kind of similar here with so, these ratings. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a little off sometimes. <laughs> okay, and next, you guys, we have the crispy cheddar bites. They look pretty good. Not too bad. They're like little small, almost like cheese curd looking things. Yeah. Comes with this dip right here, which, uh, what is that dip? I will tell you. <laughs> it's an ancho chili ranch dip. I was going to guess that. <laughs> and the crispy bites are white and yellow Wisconsin cheese curds. Okay. Topped with a chili spice. They look interesting. I do like cheese curds, so. Yeah, me too. Let's try them out. Okay. All right, get a good dip going right there. One, One two, two, three. There's a lot of random flavors in there. I don't know if I like this ranch. Let me try one more time. Something's gone wrong in this dish. That ancho chili. Let me try ranch. Because <laughs> I can't tell if it's the sauce or if yeah. it's the curd. Yep. It's the sauce, isn't it? It's both. Oh. <laughs> it's both. It's hard for me to say they're not good <laughs> because uh -huh. this is kind of what cheese curds taste like. I just think, I guess I've just had better ones. Me That's too. probably what it do is. The dip. Do you mind if I dip? Just no, to, go ahead. I want to describe this ancho chili. Yeah, nasty. Yeah, it is, right? <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Are you ready to rate it? I'm ready. Okay. One, One two, two, three, three. three. Hey! This is a three for sure, it right? It is. Yeah. It's a three for you and me. Yeah. No. Right? <laughs> no. Okay. Last but not least, you guys, we have their wings. Yes. Chili's is known for the wings. You can get boneless or bone in. We chose to get bone in, and we got three different flavors. Got a mango habanero, buffalo, and barbecue. What we did with this is we actually got it a triple dipper. Um, that way it made it a little easier, you know, like I said, it's less, ex less costly because it's really expensive. Where you can pick three appetizers. Which one do you want to start with? Man, I'm scared to do the mango habanero because it might be hot. Yeah, it might be. Do you want to eat that first? Yeah, let's do it. Which one is it? The glazed it's, one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are very saucy. I know, they are. I hope they're hot. I, I don't. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Okay. One, we go. two, three. Uh-oh. I taste some heat coming. Put some suffering. <laughs> Okay, guys, we had to stop it. I'm not actually kidding. I was delirious. <laughs> I don't know how I looked for the first minute. Yeah. But I was really messed up. Like, that was very hot to yeah. me. Yeah. Those were pretty spicy. And, and when I it's too spicy, I got a bad mood. You guys, stay away from the habanero chicken wings. That was a lot. It was a lot. Do you want to describe the flavor? Yeah, hot. Yeah. Spicy. A little sweet. Uh, definitely had the sweetness going. You know, it's interesting about habaneros. Habaneros have, like, this certain taste to it you know that's not really it's not like a good it's not good it's not but because it's sweetened up and stuff like that it actually made it taste pretty good but honestly it's spicy and Kristen is still oh, still recovering let's go one to two out of ten for the habanero uh, chicken wings mango habanero yes mango one two three one. seven <laughs> one and done I had a feeling you are going to do that Ugh. so you guys we're going to be a little cautious because the sauce actually got over some of the other wings so because of that I see one wing that's okay for Kristen but I don't know about the other one this know? doesn't have the other sauce on uh -uh, it because it's kind of up I can't promise 
Are you sure? Yeah. You guys, it might have some spice on it. I don't know. Ooh. All right, here we go. The barbecue chicken wings? Yeah. Here we go. Mm. Man, this sucks. That's the nastiest barbecue. You didn't like it? Mm -mm. I like wouldn't it? say it's the nastiest, but I would say they need to work on it a little it's bit. It's like really smoky, like very mesquite. Yeah. But not in a good way. It's like old wood. Yeah, Mesquite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Who are we gonna give it? One out of ten. One, two, two three, three, six. Two. Now here's the question. Yeah. Are you willing to try the last one <laughs> that might have some habanero sauce? In it? I don't even know. <laughs> the habanero sauce is spread all through this. Man. But I see one okay. or two maybe that might not have gotten on there. Okay, this next is buffalo. Oop, that got it. Last chicken wing. Buffalo chicken wing original. Let's see how it is. Going down. Ew. <laughs> no. Those wings can call in no. sick. No. <laughs> those are disgusting. They can call in sick every day of the week. I wouldn't miss them. Oh. Those were really bad. You know, I think another problem too, the wings weren't fully, uh, they weren't fried well. Yeah, they're not. They're, they're underdone a little bit. I did like the buffalo sauce better than any of the other two. Oh, but really? That, but that's not saying much. That was my least favorite. It wasn't? The mango was actually my favorite tasting wise. You know what? I yeah. think you liked that. It, it pained me. <laughs> no, so I didn't like that. I think you did like Although it. Although it was entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what would we give that? One out of ten. One, One two, two, three, four. Three. Oh, wow. It's a three. Okay, yeah. That's low. Okay. The three's low. <laughs> we started off the highest highs in this video. I told you. And went to the lowest lows. <laughs> okay. Your girl was suffering. <laughs> Overall, this was a good experience. Yep. They have a ton to choose from. I feel yeah. like they have a ton of like palettes, you know, whatever your like taste buds are. Yeah. Yeah. You'll find something that you like for sure. We recommend <laughs> the Southwestern Egg Rolls. Hands down. We recommend the Big Mouth Burger Bites. Yep. We recommend the Fried Pickles. I think in that order too. Or I think also if you can order a fresh thing of nachos and you get the beef, yeah. Those, that's a solid app as well. Yep. I would recommend that too. But these, once again, are just our opinion, guys. It doesn't mean that every, anything tastes bad or good or anything like that. Mm -hmm. You definitely have to try it for yourself yeah. and see what you think because yeah. these are just our opinions at the end of the day. Yeah, which mean the world. <laughs> exactly. What's the one thing you'd be like, stay away, far away from that? I would say to stay away from the wings. <laughs> uh, yeah. The barbecue wings, for sure. That one, for sure. The mango habanero, if I didn't, if I wasn't dying from the heat, yeah. it, it wasn't awful of the flavor. Yeah. But I gave it a one because I almost died. I think for me, I would say stay away from the cheese curds. I didn't like those at all. Yeah, I didn't like Even them. with the wings, I feel like yeah. I feel like if you're someone who's kind of biased to wings and you kind of like wings, you'd probably enjoy these. But the cheese curds, I, in my opinion, I just feel like mm -hmm. it was a mess all around. We forgot to mention, all of these appetizers was yeah. $114. What? It wasn't cheap, and we went on the wow. cheap on these because we did the triple, triple dipper where we got to pick three things. That's right. We did that twice on two, you know. Mm, two occasions. Yeah. Yeah. Two, we sure. got two triple dippers. So we hope that we <laughs> uh, helped you make your decision. That's right. What you're going to order from Chili's next time. Until next time, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, share. It is Karen. Let your friends and family know what the Kate and JFam are doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever time it is out there. We will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace out, Trouts.